Liberty's equestrian team is set to carry on the momentum from last spring to this season, as this program is reaching new heights in a sport that is not as well known amongst its peers. We have two equestrian teams. We have a hunter seat equestrian team, which rides English. They ride on the flat. It's a lot of, if you watched any of the Olympics, what you would have seen, and a lot of them do jumping events. And they also ride on the rail and ride equitation, which is all about your body and your form and how well you ride and how you maneuver your horse through a series of commands. Um, and then we also ride Western. So what we do in the Western team is we do what we call horsemanship and reining. Um, all the girls do horsemanship and only two of us do reining and one of us does reining at a competition. But um, horsemanship is how you are communicating with your horse. You are given a pattern when you go into the arena um, the day that you arrive to have a competition. And then it's all about how you communicate with a horse that you've never ridden before. We are not allowed to practice on these horses. We go to another school and we ride other school's horses. So it's all about how you're contacting with your seat, with your leg, with your hand, the way you're speaking to the horse and how well you can ride the horse that you're given. We compete within the uh, Intercollegiate Horse Show Association. It's uh, uh, over 400 colleges coast to coast and it's all divided geographically. Uh, Virginia has so many riding colleges that the state of Virginia uh, kind of changes boundaries every once in a while and Liberty uh, ended up going east this year so we're actually competing against the teams on the East Coast. Basically it entails all different divisions so from your higher levels all the way down to your lower levels. Every single person on the team is really valued in their position and what they bring to the table. Like most sports, Equestrian 2 has a uniqueness about it. As in other sports where you may match up with a team or a partner, this sport has these riders matching up with a different type of partner. Anything equestrian is very unique because it's unlike most sports in the fact that we are competing with horses that have a mind of their own. In basketball and soccer, you don't have to worry about the ball deciding that it doesn't want to cooperate or maybe you want it to go left and it wants to go right. Um, so our horses, at any moment, we always try to ask them correctly, but sometimes they can just say no or they have an off day just like we have off days and so we have to prepare for that and you never know what you're going to get in the ring. In other sports you rely on your teammates a lot of the time and your teammates can communicate to you what they want to happen or what's going on or how they're feeling during a game or a match and with equestrian you you don't have that communication factor. You're communicating through the horse's way. So it's all about the communication that you have with that animal. If you do too much of one thing, you could make the animal mad and then your ride, you know, doesn't go too well. And you have to be prepared of how to deal with that and how to move on and not have a bobble and continue through your classes if everything happened like it was supposed to. The Flames practice in one of Club Sport's newest renovated facilities as the equestrian team practice in a state-of-the-art facility on Liberty Mountain that has added a new feature. I began here uh, just about a year ago and right before I started we built the, uh, the border barn which last year was actually about half student boarders and half uh, lesson horses. This year it is completely full of student boarders so we have 20, uh, 20 stalls over there and, and it's full of students. Uh, while I've been here now, we built obviously this, this indoor arena, which is with a, a state-of-the-art footing that uh, uh, we mixed in here, especially for, uh, for the hunters, hunters and jumpers. Uh, we have a brand new set of jumps, a new outdoor arena, uh, and then uh, under construction still is our new team barn, and I'm real excited about that. It's going to be 24 stalls, so we can have all our team horses together in the same place. Uh, and then we'll have team locker rooms. Each of the uh, athletes will have a, uh, their own locker for the first time. Uh, we have team room uh, where we can have study tables. We'll have some exercise equipment uh, all in one place. So I'm real excited about the team barn. With all the amenities of a top of the line program, the Flames have high expectations for this season. A lot of the teams that we're competing against have had experience for years and years and years. They have built their programs up over a long period of time and we just started ours a few years ago for both the Western and the Hunt Sea teams. So the fact that we've come as far as we have in this short amount of time is really exciting for us and we're just looking forward to really improving and moving forward even more and becoming real competitors in this field. It's looking like a good year. As I said, we have a really, really good freshman class and uh, we feel like we're in a good place where we can we can go in uh, knowing that 
you know, we have a good chance to be at the top of the pack and uh, whether we can win it or not, we'll see. We plan to go out and win our region. And you can have multiple people in each division, but you only have one that's your point rider. So you have eight point riders in your show throughout the day. So you have two in open, one for flat, one for fences, two in intermediate, two in novice, and then walk trot canter and walk trot. So those are your eight classes that you compete in throughout the day, which means as a team, all of our point riders going forward would be very competitive in our region. We just came back from the Tournament of Champions, which was our first national level competition uh, and uh, competing against some of the best teams on the East Coast. We came in with a team ribbon at the end of the competition. So we were real proud of that with our Huntsie team. And, uh, you know, we, we opened a lot of eyes. We got a lot of, a lot of coaches' attention with our, uh, with our very first tournament champion show and, and placing in the ribbons there. Though the Flames are looking and expected to bring home multiple ribbons, none of that would matter if the Flames couldn't incorporate their faith into a sport they love. We have some really great girls on our team who are very forward with their faith. And that works really well within our team and we're planning to bring that outside of our team at the horse shows. Whenever we go to a competition, we're being students of liberty, but we're also students of Christ and we're showing our love for Him and our love for God every single time we come out of this school and we go into another school and deal with other competitors from different schools. Always try and have a good outlook and are always talking with other teams and um, just really showing the love of Christ. And I think that uh, uh, you know, they, they see us as that, that group that comes from this university that's different than their own and our athletes go and show them that, you know, they're just college kids and they're, they're friends with everybody and they're good sports and they're good athletes. It's been such an amazing opportunity to be able to combine showing horses and God because a lot of times um, we are all Christians but when you go to a horse show you think about showing horses and the students are learning to blend them together and show everyone that we are Christians and we show horses and we put all of it together and we go to horse shows and we've had a great outreach of other teams that want to participate with us in our Sunday morning Bible studies or we've had some other teams come up and pray with us and it's just I think it's a great thing for other teams to see us and realize that you can be a competitive awesome team but also be very grounded in your faith.